my name's Gemma, welcome to my channel and this is a Vlogoween 2019 which I've renamed with the help of some of my subscribers Gemma Ween 2019. It's not really catching on trying to say it but it's just not really catching on is it? So today I've just got a little small haul and a little walk through of Party City. I went to Party City in New York City actually and I bought a couple of things from there and then I also went to a shop called Century 21 where I bought another two items but one of the items I'm not going to be showing you today because it actually never got bought home back to the UK it was like a room spray that's not like pumpkin spice and I was like oh my god I want pumpkin spice to be like sprayed around my home um, and I, I, I can't remember where I was Um, I can actually I was in um Florida and there was like a funny smell coming from my suitcase and it was because um, something had happened to my suitcase um, I must have done it because it wasn't even on a flight it was like when it was when I put it in the car that we hired and anyway it must have smashed in there or it was damaged and it leaked and then all my clothes smelled like pumpkin spice and you know what it wasn't even that much of a nice smell in fact it was horrible and <laughs> Um, so that was a disaster that happened, so that never came home. But the rest of the thing, we found the Halloween section. <laughs> we're not in Spirit Halloween, are we? What are we in? Party, Party City. City. I'm looking at all the Halloween costumes. There isn't really anything that you can't get in the Poundland here. Oh, I like this. Oh, I like this. Eleven, twelve dollars is a bit dear. You'd get them for cheaper and like they, you can get them from the pound land and they're like a pound in England. These are sweet though, Isabel. Little costume. Yeah. They probably This is what they would wear in them. We got adult ones. Oh, these are very adult female. Oh, we could have got our Disney outfit. This one's a nice jasmine. Yeah. They're not that great, are they? No, they'll be all synthetic. Yeah, synthetic. <laughs> We've had a bad experience, everybody. Shall we tell them while we're in the Halloween? Shall we get it off our chest? Well, we went to the toilet the magical McDonald's. It was Gemma said it was the best <laughs> McDonald's she'd ever seen. It was well, it, it was the worst McDonald's. We didn't even get anything because we went to the toilet and first a man took us there and then he stopped Isabel. Oh, look at her. <laughs> <laughs> Does she do anything? Press her, Isabel. <gasps> Nice to me. <laughs> <laughs> Can I turn her oh, off? Oh yeah, she's <laughs> only like her. Oh, it's a bell. She won't, she won't turn off. <laughs> yeah, so we went in this McDonald's of a code, the toilet. And what happened, Isabel? Well, my GoPro was here. Um, I took it out and put it on the toilet thing and then I left and I forgot about it and I was I left because there was such a queue and I didn't want to hold anyone mm. up and me, because we've been waiting in there for hours while people got changed and then we discovered that there were those character people that walked around dressed up as Spider-Man and it et was Minnie Mouse went it in. was Minnie Mouse went in but Isabel's GoPro was still in there so Isabel banged on the door <laughs> recreated it and said please can I have my camera back? <laughs> it's on the toilet. Hold it. Anyway, the woman was just ignoring us. And then a Spanish lady had to speak to her in Spanish and eventually she came out and gave and let Isabel have it, but she wouldn't pass it to her. No, she was in there. It was all very ten, odd. Ten she was in there for ages and we had to stand there. See we yeah. So we were put off at American McDonald's. I feel like I need some Halloween candy to cheer me up. 
pumpkin were his original. Now that would cheer me up. Oh, it's for the soft caramels though. though. I don't like soft caramels. Why aren't they the hard ones? What about a Twix Ghost? That might cheer me up. Oh, I might try some or should we get a pick and mix? You probably you take your hand and take the. Surely your they've hand. got a little bag. Well, you have to buy a candy ball. Oh, don't they have bags? There's more candies up here though. Yeah. Giant gumball machine. Why can't you just have a bag? I don't want a ball. We wouldn't be able to put it anywhere. Are these like Hershey's kisses? Yeah. Are they cheap versions or are they Hershey? Oh no, they are. They say kisses. We, we want to pick a mix, but... I presume we just take our... take it up. Hmm. I feel like I need some Halloween candy to cheer me up. Pumpkin Worth is original. Now that would cheer me up. Oh, it's For the soft caramels though. though. I don't like soft caramels. Why aren't they the hard ones? What about a Twix Ghost? That might cheer me up. I might try some candy. Or should we get a pick and mix? You probably just take your hand and Take the Surely they've hand. got a little bag. Well, you have to buy a candy ball. Oh, don't they have bags? There's more candies up here, though. Yeah. Giant gumball machine. Why can't you just have a bag? I don't want a ball. We wouldn't be able to put it anywhere. Are these like Hershey's kisses? Yeah. Are they cheap versions or are they Hershey? Oh no, they are, they say kisses. We, we want to pick a mix, but... I presume we just take our... take it up. Hmm. Five for five dollars. Um, we've just been to Party Central, I did tell you. This is about, she's, she's loving her shower pack. Bye. She's had five in the space of like two seconds as we walked down. I've got a big bag. I've got um, some to see in the middle of the. And you didn't have to pay for a carrier bag. No, and I've got two carrier bags here. You wouldn't get this in England. You'd get frowned upon for having a carrier bag, let alone two. So I got junior mints. That is a hard bag. Yeah, go on. Got this is your sign, which is one ninety nine dollars. I hope you can hear. And I got this little side. I think this was four dollars. Was it four dollars? It's wooden though. It's not substantial. And I got black tamales. I don't know what these are. Charleston shoes. I've never seen them, so I got them. Raisin Oh no, your finger's a bit scratched. You put. Was it meant to look like that? It's only the other side. Um, I've never heard of all of these. Haven't you? I like milk duds, so my friend. You can only get them in being a bargain. Oh, can you? And then I got a Twix Ghost. Oh, it's upside down. And a special Kit Kat that says dare to find what's inside. So stay tuned and you might find out what's inside. I feel like I want to eat something now, though. Have you not got anything you can eat? <laughs> no, but you picked to eat now. Oh, I thought it was going to be white. Oh, is it like a Twix? But yeah, is it just like a Twix in a ghostly shape? I was looking not the camera then. <laughs> Like hard twitch chocolate. <laughs> well, their chocolate's different, isn't it? Here's Gemma eating sweets on 34th Street. Miracle on 34th Street. <laughs> Look at it. 
Artrix is on, it's like... They're not that white, they're more a golden biscuit. It tastes different. It tastes different, viewers. It's actually nicer than Artrix's. It's sweeter. But it might be because it's like... But our caramel isn't like that dark, is it? I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not a big Twix fan. Whereas the men at work, they love a Twix. Like with their tea. After Gemma has devoured the ghost, <laughs> we're going to go into Macy's. And there's the Empire State. Oh look, she's doing a chomping thing. <laughs> Lover of Twixes. But we live in shock after Minnie Mouse stole my goat. <laughs> <laughs> Get her out! What's that one like? It's like a strawberry. Yeah, it looks like a strawberry. Bought this as a waste of money purchase, and it was just because Party City gave me like this big, huge carrier bag that I didn't want to walk around with. I can't remember even where we were going, but I didn't want to walk around with it. I think we were just going to, I can't remember where we were going, but um, I didn't want to walk around with this bag, uh, that big carrier bag because it was like a giant one, and so I got this. And I don't know why they gave me such a big one because I hardly bought anything. And the, the only reason why I didn't buy anything is because I like packed way too much stuff um, in my suitcase. If any of you watched my packing, my my suitcase video, it was terrible. I was so stressed over it. It took me like days to do it. There was one night when I had to be up for work for my last shift the next day. And I was up till like four o'clock in the morning because I kept getting up and thinking, oh my God, the suitcase and taking everything out of it and putting it back in. And do you know what? I didn't even wear like all of those clothes that I packed I didn't need them all it was a big mistake so let's get on with this Halloween thing because I'm jabbering on again um so the first thing I got was this little sign this little plaque I've never seen any like sign this is my excuse I've never seen any signs like this in the UK because we don't really go mad for like pumpkin spice things over here Recently we are going a bit mad for it, like Starbucks, you can get a pumpkin spice latte. But I don't think we've always been able to get them, I wasn't aware of it if we were. Um, so we've got this Spice Spice Baby, it's like vanilla ice. Um, and it's just a little sign. And it's just like that, it's, and I like it, a standing sign it says it's called. Um, and I think it was like $3, it's made of wood. Um, I don't know, I just wanted to buy something Halloween and this was small, it would fit in my bag, so guess what, I bought it. So there it is, it's so cute and it is a pumpkin spice latte and they are my favourite, although I do like the ice, I reckon that's a hot one. I like the ice ones better, just because it's not been like that really cold, has it, for um, hot drinks really. So I got these, I didn't get any candy corn. Um, Purely because we can't buy candy corn over here. Um, oh, there's a hole in the bag. Anyway, I like these little pumpkins better, but they are so sugary. They are like the most sugariest things in the world. Um, I had a video trying these things and I have had them before. And I did have loads of candy corn left over from last year. I think I've still got a big bag of it somewhere. 
whether it's in date or not I don't know so I didn't buy any candy corn but I did buy them and I did try some other things which I'm going to show in this video now I'm um, just trying this Twix thing and I did also try these like Werther's, Werther's original like pumpkin spice flavoured like sweets also in Party City and I just bought this little sign which I've all I've had to repair it actually I had to put bandage tape on the back of it because this little sign at the bottom fell off um it's cute it was i think it was like one dollar 99 and it's got pumpkin it's like a sign like that other one i bought the other day it's got pumpkins going that way but like i liked it because these little things are like you know like material things like yeah whatever that's called apples you can go and get your bobbin apples that way and hay rides that way so it reminds me of like going to the uh maze maze and the pumpkin patch which I hopefully will do again this year. Um, but I don't think they've got it on for very long this year. The one nearest to me, like normally they've got it on for ages. At this time they've got it on from like the 19th of October till the 26th. Like not even right up to Halloween. So I'm going to have to see if, I can, if I've got days off to go to that. So I might not. I think last year it all went a bit disastrous and all the pumpkins went mouldy. And I think that's why. So the last thing I bought from America... There is going to be another American haul, which is going to be Disney themed because it's stuff I bought in Florida and Disneyland. So I thought I'd separate that out because I had a bit of footage of going shopping with Gatorbite and Disney World um, Magic Kingdom. So I just bought this little pumpkin because like I really loved that. I kept looking at these. It's got a hair on it. Um, I kept looking at these in a, pl a shop called Century 21 we don't have that over there it's like a bit like TK Maxx like discounted designer clothes and then I didn't want any discounted designer clothes I just wanted this pumpkin um, and I kept looking at them they had all different colours and I like this purple one and I bought it it's like it's just like plushy like velvety and like it looks really fancy I don't know why I think it looks fancy and it's just the golden stalk it's fancy and it's still got the tag on and it was $3.99. In America, like you go to the till and then it's a bit more expensive when you get to the till because they put their, like weirdly, I don't know why they do it, but they put their tax on like after. So you don't know what the tax is going to be till you get to the till and you should work it out. And my brain isn't going to be doing that. Um, so I just always used to expect it to be like a little bit more, like not much, but a little bit more. So that would have been a little bit more than 3 99 but um, yeah, I liked it. It's got like beanie things in the bottom and I didn't know if they were going to be scented, but they're not scented. It doesn't smell like anything, but I really like that and I wish I could have bought more of them. Not that I know where I'm going to put it, but there'll be somewhere nice to put it, I'm sure. That's everything that I bought in New York. I know it's what you're probably thinking, oh my God, she like didn't buy anything, but... To be honest, I wasn't there to go shopping. That vacation cost me in the realms of... I don't even want to say. I think the whole vacation cost 2000 something for everything. And then I took $2,000 spending money. And I didn't spend all of that. I didn't spend it all. I think I had about $600, $700 left at the end. So I did really well. I could have spent like that as well. Um... But I didn't, everything was really expensive. So I just was like, in my mind, I just thought, you know, you you can't like go around shopping, buying everything because this vacation's cost loads of money. Spend loads. Everyone keeps saying to me, especially at work, what did you buy in New York? What did you buy? I didn't buy anything. I did buy a Pandora charm. It's got like, it's an apple with um, NYC on it. And that's the only thing I bought. I will show you that in a video one day. If I do an updated Pandora video, maybe who knows um so i'm gonna see you again tomorrow for another halloween inspired video take care thanks for watching Bye bye